Barrelcraft Spirits sources different spirits and barrels from all over the world to create a one-of-a-kind tasting experience. Find out more at BarrelBourbon.com. For this Whiskey Quickie, we are going down to Nashville to take a look at Corsair. Now, this one, a little bit different. It's a triple smoked American single malt whiskey. It is pot distilled and it is using cherry, beechwood, and peat smoked barley. Oh, wow. So a lot of stuff going on. Fancy smoke there. Now, for the age, we always know that if it doesn't say straight, that it has to be less than two years. And if it's under four years, it has to list it. So the age on this one is pretty low. Seven months. I don't know if we've ever actually, wow, if we've actually reviewed anything at, uh, you know, that low of an age limit. So seven months aged. Um, and then the proof is 80 proof. And then the price is a $45 SRP. Well, let's see what this triple, triple smoke is all about. Do you think, do you have a, a suit like this that you can walk through like res reservoir dogs on the, on the packaging? I don't wear suits. <laughs> <laughs> Neither do I. I'm like t-shirt like, and jeans. Yeah, yeah. T-shirt. I'm a peasant. All right. On the nose. Well, you get triple smoked. There's some um, smoke in there. Yeah, you get like the the fruity, fruity, a lot of fruit. It smells like fruit just being smoked. <laughs> Is that a thing? <laughs> yeah. You just like set a cranberry field on fire and right. see what happens. Yeah you, yeah, you light a cranberry bog and this is what you get. A bog? Yeah, it's a bog. You don't grow cranberries in a field; they're in a bog. It's oh, like a, <laughs> this is and this is why you have the degree that you have in you know everything agriculture because that's the one I, I'm yeah. so lost. I don't that. know what a microprocessor is. So. <laughs> All right, that's why we were a good balance there. All right, so on the taste. A lot of youth. Yeah, there's like a. Uh, I'm going to go agriculture here. It's like you get dirt in your mouth and... Is that agriculture? <laughs> <laughs> I think you and I can understand what dirt in the mouth is. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that's a reach, but uh, yeah, it's like... Yeah, it's like a farm kind of taste. Like, I'm tasting the farm in there. But I think for anybody that would enjoy this, like, it, you, ha you have to be, like, in a mood for something that's super smoky, yeah, super... Yeah, if you're, if you're, like, a peated scotch fan, you'd probably like this. It's that... If you're sitting outside by a campfire smoking a cigar, this might actually be something that would appeal to you as well. Yeah. It just, like I said, for us, we're the typical like sweet corn kind of people that, you know, you typically appeal to. So might not be the same thing for us as it would be for you. However, it just depends on your situation, your scenario. So let's go ahead and rate it. So for us on the nose, where you at? Uh, I'm sideways. It wasn't like, it was decent nose. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, off-putting. There was some fruity in there. And the taste... Man, I, I did not like it. Thumbs down. I'm sorry. It's not, it's just not for me. I don't like smoky. I don't like those earthy flavors. It's just not for me. True. And the finish? Uh, thumbs down. I'm just, like I said, it's just not for me. Uh, if you like smoky, peaty, earthy, this is right in your wheelhouse. Yeah, it sure is. Yep. Cheers, y'all. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.